Do you love dubstep? No. So this is, uh, <laughs> although there is some dubstep in these video snaps, we're gonna be checking out uh, Core, and this is like a Core Top 25 for all the Nintendo, Sony, and Arcade packs. The most, con not all of them, but the most common ones. All the way from PlayStation and Sony. So PlayStation 1, 2, 3, we're talking Sega Mega Drive and 32X and Sega Saturn and uh, Sega CD. And then for Nintendo, we're talking GameCube, N64, SNES, NES, and more. So it's got all those top 25 game packs all in one. So this is a very large file. But um, the core, as you know, is beautiful front end off of Retro FE. And um, I love the theme. I'm not a fan, necessarily a fan of all the music, but the theme itself, the visually, is freaking fantastic. So we're gonna check out these this uh, core AIO build. We're gonna show you how I set it up and get into the different categories, show you the file systems, and play some games. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So just checking out the README file really quick. <clears throat> just thanks to everyone. Um, Core makes it really beautiful and you can still change the themes. Obviously it's based off Retro FE. Uh, talking about their menu system, which we'll get into shortly. And then this is probably what you all care about, which is you know what exactly is in this kit. So you get the core front end, which is beautiful. And then you get the MAME .220 all killer kit. You have the Atari systems top 25. So you have a 25 of each of these Atari system games. You have the Nintendo top 25, it's the best uh, I don't know if it's like the best selling or kind of the best rated games within those categories. I mean, it's going to be your Mario's, your Zelda's, stuff like that, right? And then the Sega System's top 25, right? So your Sonic's, you know, your, um, you know, all the games that were, you know, really big at the time for the Sega console. Um, there's Dreamcast too. I don't know why they didn't. Oh, I guess it'll be later. Yeah, Sega Saturn and Dreamcast and Sega CD. They got to put those into that. Okay. Um... Then you got uh, N64 goes into there. Okay, yeah. So um, even GameCube, Nintendo GameCube. And then you have, oh, you do have some PC games. I haven't checked those out yet. Um, and then Amiga, so some, some computer classics and your typical consoles and uh, PC games. So let's see what we have with the arcade. Interesting. Okay, you can sort it then by genre. And I think it's like shoot em up, beat em up, stuff like that, right? Yeah, beat em up, platform, puzzle. So cool, so you can run and gun. You can, you can sort it by this, or it can go back here and go by system. Should be mostly me. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. A lot of the core stuff, yeah, it goes into full screen mode when you wait. Which is pretty cool. I mean, it's definitely beautiful. And it looks like we got the vertical. We do have Die Hard Arcade in here. Nice. So let's go back really quick. And, uh, so we Go ahead and see because we saw genres. We saw. Okay. So it's gonna be like this. Let's go back one more time. And let's see all games just to see what, what kind of games we're looking at here. You should be able to see in the lower left corner here. So about a thousand games. And then you can use your. Um, You can usually switch. That's favorites. Just wanted to show you what full screen looked like. So, a huge arcade set, as you see here. Your CPS systems. You have Demon Front. 
but also some cool ones that you don't often see, like the Sega M2 and the, uh, yeah, you have Killer Instinct 1 and 2 on here. But this is the kit that you typically see on a lot of these retro FE front ends. Okay, and you got near Neo Geos too. All right, um, so that's our arcade set. You guys probably want to see. So we have collections as well. This is gonna be like your Super Mario, your Mortal Kombat. So that's cool that that's. Oh, it looks like you only have Super Mario Kombat and Ninja Turtles. So I might even get rid of that. All right, computers. Commodore 64, Amiga, and uh, it's the top 25, remember? So here's the PC games for Windows. This is cool, this is the actual PC games. Oh, oh it has Cuphead on it, nice. Dust, Owlboy, Sonic Mania, Streets of Rage 4, The Castle of the, oh man, I used to love this game. I haven't played the new version. And Cuphead. Now, um, so that's cool. It comes with like five pieces. Was that one of six games? Okay, and then you got Commodore 64 and Amiga. And then in consoles, yeah, let's just go to, um, we can go to all consoles really quick. All right, Amstrad, top 25, Atari, top 25, 5200, 7800, top 25, Jaguar. Jaguar. So 25 games there. Yeah, I mean, those are definitely the most popular games. Holy Co. Amiga CD. Okay. TurboGrafx 16. TurboGrafx CD. You guys probably want to see which games those are, huh? And then TurboGrafx CD. And I've done videos on um, some core packs in the past, especially the PlayStation 3 pack, which we'll see in just a moment here. But um, I really like the PlayStation 3 pack a lot. I think a lot of people are gonna like this image because it just gives you the best of the best. I'm gonna have to recheck the file size. I wanna say it was pretty big. I'll let you know before the end. This, is, this video is broken right here. I didn't test the ROM either. The ROM might not even work. But everything else looks good. Second like 32X. Man, Terminator doesn't make the top 25. Oh, never mind. That was like CD 32X out there. CD. The tough guy. Okay, cool. Alright, Dreamcast. This looks really good. Like, look at Dead or Alive 2. And then you stay here. You see the box art and everything. You cannot go left to right though with system. Sega Masters and Sega Saturn. SG-1000, Neo Geo CD. And it's a lot. Oh, it doesn't work. Okay, I think there is no Neo Geo CD. So that's a just that's just a placeholder that you can remove. So some PlayStation action. PlayStation 2. Beyond Good and Evil, Bully, Burnout 3. PS3, this is that pack I showed you in a separate video, if you missed that. 
And it runs pretty good. You need a powerful computer, though. If I remember right, this, this is like a 30 gigabyte build, so that might be somewhere where you can slim it up a little bit. Looks so good. Amstrad, and then back to Atari. Did we see everything? Yeah, I guess we did, huh? So let's go ahead and go back. And remember, you could pick on, you know, a certain company there. Oh, and then handhelds. We haven't done that yet. Let's do all. Okay, cool. This one, there is no. So let's check out Nintendo DS, PSP, and Game Boy Advance. Some pretty good ones on here. It'd be cool if they added a Nintendo 3DS. I think that would be... I think a lot of people would welcome that. So your Sonics, your Pokemons, your Mega Bands. Your Zelda. PSP. Of course.
Why didn't I just do that from the beginning? Select your battle fighter. Okay, good luck. Leader to base. Wing leader to base. Commencing operation. Three, two, one, go. First stop. Enemy out. Let's see what you got. Coming at, in at a hefty, like around 340 gigabytes or so. Now, if you get rid of that PlayStation 3 collection, you can probably get down 20 or 30 gigabytes. But still, that's pretty hefty, but you're getting a lot of content for that. As far as front ends go, this is by far in my top five, no doubt about it. I recently did a review on that unofficial point ops, the, you know, the final edition, which kind of got a Dragon Ball Z scene. I picked this theme way over that one. And I'm not saying that that build sucks, I'm saying that just from a theme perspective, this is gorgeous, comparatively. And then the fact that it has the top 25 games, it's a purpose-built thing in that it has kind of the top 25 from a mix of consoles and a mix of publishers and a mix of different types of games. From shoot 'em ups running guns, you know, you name it, you get a little bit of everything for everyone. So with all that said, I'm going to give this one an A. Like, I love it. This is a great build to recommend people. It's got the top 25 for all the major systems. It just works. It's beautiful. I Two thumbs up all the way around and give it an A, no doubt in my mind. So that's what I think. Let me know what y'all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one.